The leaves of a plant are its solar panels. Their thin, spreading structure is an adaptation to harvest the maximum amount of sunlight. Light energy is captured in a very specific place. Most of the leaf's inner cells contain structures called chloroplasts. We can see chloroplasts here clearly, the green oval-shaped organelles. The chloroplast wall is a double membrane structure. The inner membrane is folded back and forth to form stacks of flattened discs. These stacks are called grana, and each disc is a thylakoid, a Greek word meaning looks like a bag. The thylakoid membranes are where the action is. They contain a complex material, chlorophyll, which has the ability to absorb light energy. The absorbed energy kick-starts the photosynthesis process in the grana, triggering several linked chemical reactions. Inside the thylakoids, the energy splits water molecules into hydrogen ions, electrons and oxygen. Since oxygen is not used in any photosynthesis reactions, it's given off as oxygen gas. The hydrogen ions are very reactive, bonding with carrier molecules called NADP to form NADPH. The splitting of water molecules also makes possible another reaction. The released electrons provide the energy for ADP to bond with a phosphate group and form ATP. Remember that ATP is the cell's portable energy carrier and we'll see in a moment where the energy gets used in photosynthesis. This first part of photosynthesis is known as the light dependent stage because without light energy, it won't happen. Let's review the inputs and outputs. The input materials are water, the uncharged form of the carrier NADP, ADP and phosphate groups. The other essential inputs are light energy and chlorophyll. The outputs are ATP, carrying stored energy, and NADPH, the charged hydrogen carrier molecule. The other output from the splitting of water is oxygen. Some of it will be used in cell respiration in the plant's own cells. The rest will diffuse out into the atmosphere where it's available for other organisms to use. Oxygen is not used in the photosynthesis process in any way. It's a byproduct. However, the other outputs, ATP and NADPH, become essential inputs for the second stage of photosynthesis. <laughs>